I would like to call T West a few words. Welcome, brother. Thank you, Mustaf. How's everyone this evening? Okay, uh, right here out front here, I see it looks like a money tree. Okay, so this is a fundraiser. And I know uh, many of you are volunteers. You volunteer your time here. You work here. And some of us have observed the work that Somali Community Center has done over the years. And I've also been one of the observers, but I've, al I've also been more than just an observer because uh, at night and early in the morning, I, hear, I will hear a phone ring. And oftentimes it's someone calling for some form of assistance. It might be someone in jail. It may be someone somewhere on the other side of the country. And it may even be someone somewhere on the continent of Africa. But they've been told about Somali Community Services of Seattle. And oftentimes, they know her as Mama Zara. OK? Now, as you know, when your name is out there, money is also required because many of the people are calling because they have heard, they have gotten a word, they have gotten a message that Somali Community Services of Seattle can help you. Whether it's a young Somali brother or a Romo brother or sister who's in jail or who's also facing uh, uh, the immigration people, I think we call that ICE. Those calls come in early in the morning, over in the morning. And then sometimes I'll also, the phone will ring and they will say, this particular person is at the hospital. So Zara has to get up and go to the hospital. I heard someone say earlier this evening, well, I don't know if she's paid for that. Well, I can tell you, she's not paid for that. But yet, she gets up, she uses her time, her resources, and she go to the hospital to see those in the community who are sick. And sometimes she will be with them for hours during the day or in the evening. So I personally know a little bit about that. Now, I also want to, what I came prepared to do this evening, because this is a fundraiser. Now, let me hear everybody say fundraiser. fundraiser. What is it? Fundraiser. A fundraiser. So that means bring your what? Bring your money. Now, I know Somali TV is here. So some of you who are not here this evening, when you see the program on Somali TV, you know that Somali Community Services need your help, need your assistance. So this community gives to help the community. So it is our responsibility to give back to help the community to help the community, correct? Yes. So this is what we have to do. We have to do that in a good spirit of giving. Now I'm going to tell you a real short story here. In the month of May, we were in East Africa. It was myself and a, uh, there was a party of five of us, two of my daughters, one of my daughter's husband, and Zara. We were in East Africa, and as we were moving through the city, you know, it's just like Seattle. In Seattle, you see certain people who need help, right? And some of them are out on the streets asking for help. And some of them really need help. So we saw this in East Africa. And Zara being the way that she is, I would look at her as she's looking at this person. We're in the bus. We're in the van. And I would say, Zara, you can't help everybody. You can't save everybody. But still, she was looking around for some money <laughs> to give to that, that woman with the child or to give to this or that child. So when my brother talks about the calls that are made from people in the various communities, the Romo community, the Somali community, even other communities, I, I, uh, Sudanese, 
It doesn't matter. I've seen all of them helped by the Kamala Community Services of Seattle. So the brothers talked about people of color. And my other brother talked about the Vietnamese. So we understand and we know the road and the struggle that many of the people of color have gone through. But it takes and requires what? Money. And we're here for a what? For money, a fundraiser. So when you go into your pockets, dig deep, when you write that check, really think about what this community has done and is doing. I remember many, many years ago, I have uh, three daughters, and we have a band. They're musicians. I'm also a musician also. One of them is, is like, she's the oldest one, she's flying. I mean, she plays for Prince, you know, the artist known as Prince. She plays for him. She, t she told me, called me the other day, she said, well, Dad, um, uh, she finished an engagement with Prince, and she said, okay, well, Prince wrote, is writing a check for $18,000. So the reason why I'm saying that is this. It's because even with this daughter, this daughter was touched by this community. Because when we, had, when we performed here in Seattle, we needed a place to rehearse, to prepare. So guess what door was opened up? Somali Community Services of Seattle. So we brought the equipment in and we jammed, we rehearsed, we prepared right at Somali Community Services of Seattle. Those are things that we don't forget. And for all of you out there who have been helped by Somali Community Services of Seattle, those of you who are not here tonight, and those of you who are here tonight, and you know the good work that Somali Community Services has done, and the work that Zara and her staff these volunteers, let's give these volunteers a hand. These volunteers, these uh, young men, young women, who come out and spend their time here working to serve the community. So they need our help tonight, and we're here to do that. And I, I, I know I'm going to give, I know I'm going to write a minimum check for $500 tonight. And so and I hope all of you, all of you, each one of you tonight, be liberal with your giving because of the work that this center has done. They struggle here in this building. I know, I know the stories. I get the stories, okay, about what the struggle is, the struggle of keeping the lights on, the struggle of keeping the doors open. I know that struggle. And Somali Community Services has been here. I know when Somali TV first started, got started out, I know how Somali Community Services played a role in that. And I know the good work that Somali TV is doing in the community. So we want to help one another and keep a good thing going. Thank you.